You're watching Pulse for the 29th of November, and it's time for patch 4.3. Oh, and the World of Warcraft news. That too. In this week's episode, we take a look at the recently released Mists of Pandaria Talent Calculator, patch 4.3 which is finally going live, and everything that's coming with it, the latest dev water cooler post that focuses on faction favoritism, yet another World of Warcraft TV commercial, and more. Let's get started. Now even though patch 4.3 and its release is probably the biggest news this week, we're going to start off with some Mists of Pandaria talk. As announced by Blizzard at BlizzCon 2011, the class talent trees are going to be undergoing some pretty significant changes in the next World of Warcraft expansion. If you read up on the BlizzCon news or watched BlizzCon live, you would have seen that those talent trees do look drastically different. So that said, Blizzard are pretty excited to be able to provide players with the opportunity to explore this new talent system. They look forward to hearing our feedback and just let us know that, as with all previews, this is work in progress. It's all still under development. I had a look at the talents myself and honestly I'm pretty happy with the way they're set up. A lot of people were slightly weary of the fact that there are so few of them and they thought that Blizzard were just trying to dumb things down, trying to attract new players and make the new or casual players happy. But in my opinion that's definitely not the case. I think these work incredibly well and the fact that you actually get some bang for every single talent point that you spend, that's a good thing. It really is. And it makes leveling in my opinion a lot more enjoyable and I think that with this new system players will be less frightened to try new builds out. They won't have to go online to try find out what the best build is for their class for the specific situation they want. We'll have to wait and see though because as I said things are probably going to be changing quite a bit between now and when this expansion launches. I know hardcore players are probably not too keen for this, not as much as I am, but still the new talent trees are quite interesting and well worth having a look at. And I will tell you now that it's probably good to get to know them because you're going to be stuck with them once Mists of Pandaria releases. Anyway, have a look at the talent trees and let me know what you think. There are also a couple of extras relating to this below from various websites like MMO Champion and Wowhead, so if you're interested you can check those out too. Next up, as you all probably know, World of Warcraft Cataclysm Patch 4.3 is finally here and Blizzard are pleased to present us with the official patch trailer. Now, I actually thought about playing the entire trailer here for everyone to see, but I don't think I'm going to do that. You can click the annotation on your screens right now to jump to it. It will open in a new window, so it shouldn't hinder anything you're doing right now. Like watching this video, for instance. About this trailer though, a lot of people are hating on it. If you just look at the video right here on YouTube, there are a ton of dislikes. Most of the comments are less than favorable, I would say. I'd love to know what a lot of you think about it. I personally didn't think it was that bad. Let me know below. So as all of you already no doubt know, Hour of Twilight features something for pretty much everyone. From a new raid to three new five-man dungeons, the latest story developments to shake the world of Azeroth, the update also introduces a new tier of armor sets for everyone, the legendary Fangs of Father rogue questline, along with those silly daggers, transmogrification, void storage, the raid finder tool which I personally am pretty keen to test out sooner or later at least. There's the all-new Dark Moon Fair, the balance changes, the bug fixes, and much more. I am most definitely not going to cover every single little patch note in this episode. All that said, you can have a look at those official patch notes below, and along with that there are obviously a couple of extras. Right here on YouTube, you can have a look at some patch 4.3 preview footage. This is from Blizzard themselves, and it has a little bit of everything in it. Then from the big websites, MMO Champion, Wowhead, and Wow Insider, you can have a look at their patch 4.3 previews, or survival guides at least. There are some new patch 4.3 raid finder loot rules to have a look at. You can see the stage 3 stats for those legendary daggers. You can have a look at Panzer from Trade Chat's thoughts and opinions on patch 4.3 and the fact that it is in fact final live. Yes, there's just too much to look at and those big websites I mentioned earlier are constantly throwing up even more updates so be sure to check back at them and here for more news concerning patch 4.3. 
Now we're going to move on to the latest dev water cooler post. This one is titled Faction Favoritism and from that title alone you can pretty much guess what this is about. Now as a lot of you probably know, after BlizzCon 2011 there was a lot of talk about this. Especially after the news that Theramore, which is I would say one of the most iconic aligned cities, is going to be razed to the ground. The lead World of Warcraft quest designer, Dave Fargo Kosak, said that the Alliance will be getting some love soon though, but it's gonna get worse before it gets better. A lot worse. Let's just hope it gets a lot better then. For the sake of the Alliance out there. In this post, Fargo pretty much says that the devs want to make sure that there's faction pride on both sides. He argues that while the Alliance may be getting beat up more often than not, and yes, I am a Horde player myself and I totally agree with that. The Horde has taken its share of hits too. Just not when I'm online though. The biggest thing that people were complaining about, and he does touch on this here, is that the Horde characters or leaders or heroes are much more prominent. I mean, we can see a clear example of that once again with patch 4.3 and Thrall. So in this latest Dev Water Cooler post, Blizzard give us a promise. They say that things will equal out once Cataclysm is over. The Alliance will get some love, all the characters that perhaps needed a bit of developing will get that come the next expansion. I suppose you could take it however you'd like, but I'm pretty happy that Blizzard aren't forgetting about the prominent characters that made the game what it is. Anyway, read this latest Dev Water Cooler or Coffee with the Devs post below. Now last up, before heading into the smalls, we've got yet another World of Warcraft TV commercial. This one features Aubrey Plaza, you may know her from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and she apparently received World of Warcraft as a birthday gift. You can see how that turned out right here on YouTube. Then sort of tying in with this, you can have a look at a parody of these World of Warcraft commercials. This was done by WoW Krendor, and in my opinion, this is a much more realistic look at the way things are in World of Warcraft. You can find that on your screens right now, or in the links below this video. Now let's move on to the World of Warcraft smalls. First up, you can have a look at a couple of new videos over at the Blizzard Tutorial YouTube channel. There's quite a lot of interesting stuff there now. Then over at the official site, you can read how PvP Season 10 is actually ending tomorrow. You can check out some World of Warcraft mobile armory updates. You can have a look at a couple of Horde and Alliance iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S cases. There's an interesting article up over at WoW Insider titled, A Look Back at a Cataclysmic Year for World of Warcraft. Then check out a guide over at Wowhead titled Questing in Cataclysm, The Best Quests and Rewards. Then two more videos from WoW Krendor, Orc vs Wild, Northerend and Picking Your WoW Name. Well worth having a look at. Sadly that's all I have for you in the World of Warcraft news this week. Check back here soon for more, like the video, favorite it, share it with your friends and subscribe. Most importantly though, happy patch 4.3 finally going live.